What's percolating guys? Chances are you've seen one of my time-lapse videos. People always ask me, what are the best lights for time-lapsing plants? Well, I put together a list starting at $16 all the way up to $1,300 covering my favorite lights. Let's get right into it. Number one on our list is a T5 light strip. These are my favorite lights when it comes to starting new projects. I use this every time I germinate a new seed. Even for early plant development, this is something that I use all the time. You can't go wrong with having one of these in your arsenal. And they're only $16. The brand I use is called Sunblaze, but there are many different brands out there. I'd like to mention the one I'm using for a single strip is a fluorescent bulb. They have LED versions of this as well, so feel free to take whichever one you prefer. I like the fluorescent one because it produces enough heat for our little plants and they usually like it when it's hot. So this is the one I go for for early plant development. The best part is they have the ability to chain link so you could connect multiple ones together if you ever want to upgrade your lighting. For $16, this is something I suggest everyone to keep on hand. Let's get into number two on our list, which is the bigger brother of this. It's called the T5 fixture. A T5 fixture is just a bigger version of the first strip and they come in different variations. They come in two, four, six, and even eight lamp fixtures. The one I have is an eight lamp. Just for reference, it produces a lot of light. I mean, check it out. At $160, this light covers a 4x4 spread and it really gets the job done. Any early development of plants all the way up to flowering stage, this light will handle it no problem. However, if you're planning on fruiting your plants, this is probably not the light for you. This is only for early development. If you're growing vegetables and stuff like that, this light is a must have for you. Also, keep in mind they have the fluorescent version and the LED. Now, when it was a single strip, I used the fluorescent because I like the heat. But since this has eight strips on it, I do not enjoy the amount of heat that they produce as fluorescent bulbs. I get the LED version. It is a little more expensive, however, it's not as much power being used and the amount of heat it produces is very little. This is my go-to light for all early development when I need something a little more powerful than a single strip. Number three on our list is called the Micro Array 2. Currently, I have this light set up on the other side of the room, so I can't really show it to you on screen. The reason why I really love this light is because it's a two by two spray which is ideal for single plants. But my favorite part is that it's a full spectrum LED light. This means you could run this from the beginning of seed all the way to the fruiting, all the way to harvest day. I mean, you don't have to switch out this light. You start it and you finish it under the same light, which is very ideal when you're time lapsing because you don't have to switch too much of your camera settings around to match the perfect lighting. This is like an ideal setup for anyone who's doing individual single plants. If you want to check out a more in-depth review, I'm going to leave a link down below to my Array's channel. He does a real good analysis of this light. Everything that you need to know, he covers about this light and you could get a good look at it from a grower standpoint as well. This video is for people who want a time lapse. So just know that if you're looking to time lapse a plant from start to finish and you don't need a big giant light or a big giant LED like all the ones you see on the market, I highly suggest this. Also, it's only $150. I mean, for $150, it's really hard to find a full spectrum LED that does the whole thing from A through Z. Coming in number four is the bigger brother of this. It's called the Micro Array 3. The Micro Array 3, as you might guess from the name, it just covers a three by three spread. Also really helpful depending on the amount of space you have to grow. So if you don't have the budget for a four x four or the space, this three by three will get the job done. Again, I'm not gonna go too into it because he already does such a good job reviewing this light. So for the Micro Array 2 and 3, if you wanna check out some of the information, links are down below. Also, this light's coming in at $280, which for a full spectrum LED, Again, very cheap compared to all the other lights that are on the market today. Number five on our list is called the Spider Farmer G5000 which is the light behind me right now. I use this light for my 10th grow, and if you haven't seen any of the videos, I have a full Seed the Harvest series that documents all the plants under this light. If you're looking for a good example of how well this light produces and time lapses, feel free to check out any of my videos from Seed to Harvest. I go literally from seed to harvest with this light. This light is perfect for anyone growing in a 4x4 tent. It has a really good spread. Again, low power, low heat, and the light temperatures that it produces are always a nice, beautiful white with a hint of blue, which is exactly what you want when you want to time-lapse plants. There's so many good lights on the market, but so many of them have pink, purple hues that just don't look right on camera. So if you're looking for a light to time-lapse, I would highly suggest you check the Kelvin and temperature of the light. Make sure that it's around this, which is like 5,000 to 7,000, depending on the brand. And it's only about $460. Next light on our list is by far the most expensive, but also my favorite. It's called the Model H. Spider Pharma light I use for my 4x4 tank rows, but for my time
time-lapse dedicated grows, I really like to use the Model H. I've had the best results with these lights. Again, I wanna make sure everyone knows none of these companies are sponsoring this video. I'm just going over my favorite lights for time-lapsing. Now, the Model H is by far the most expensive, but you could guarantee you'll get the best results. I mean, if you don't believe me, just check out my video that went super viral and the whole thing was captured under the Model H. Only get this light if you're really dedicated and have some space and resources dedicated for certain projects. And my favorite part is this light's fully compatible with all Trollmaster equipment, which is what I use to power most of my setups. I highly suggest this to everyone who really wants to take it seriously and time-lapse some really good content. There you have it guys, that was my favorite lights for time-lapsing plants. I'm leaving links down below not only to the lights themselves, but to projects that I've done with these lights. So you could get a really good idea of just how well these lights produce 